Good morning, parents. I'm Ale, and this is your BVTV broadcast for Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. Seniors, here's an announcement regarding graduation. The four staff members that you have elected to hand out diplomas during graduation are Ms. Bruce, Mr. Dumas, Mr. Meisner, and Mr. Garcia. In other news, all prom court members who haven't picked up their sashes should go to the ASB in order to receive them. Barons, it's that time of the year. You are at the age where you are now able to get your driver's license. Here's Zach with some driving advice. I recently got my driving license, and I feel like you future drivers might need some tips on driving, the written test, and the behind the wheel exam. Be mindful of the sensitivity of the wheel and pedal. There is a simple method when doing any sort of 90 degree turn. For a right turn, turn the wheel halfway to the right, bring your right hand over your left hand, bring your left hand back, and slightly let go before ending the turn. For a left turn, do the same thing but with opposite hands. And for a U-turn, just do the same method twice. SMOLIC. It stands for Signal, Mirrors, Over the Shoulder, and Go. You will use this method when pulling over. Be familiar with the car. Know how to turn on the blinkers, emergency lights, and defrosters. The emergency lights and defrosters are in different spots for each car. Understand the general feel of the car. The steering, acceleration, braking, and overall shape of each car is different. Take online mock exams. Mock exams will help you get familiar with the exam. An extra tip, take your time. It's simply multiple choice, and the correct answer is often obvious. Hope these tips can help you with earning your driver's license. Now let's get back to the studio. Thanks, Zach. Those tips will definitely help out those who are trying to get their license. In relation to educational tips, here's Jackie and Gio with the menu. Hi, my name is Luna, and I'm doing powder puff. So Luna, what position do you play? I'm playing running back, and I like running, so I feel like that was kind of the position for me. And how have your previous sports helped you with powder puff? Um, I've always been playing soccer, so I feel like the twisting and turning and like having to juke other players um, comes in handy for playing powder puff. Hi, uh, I'm Brian, and I played safety and uh, running back at Benito Vista High School. What are you looking forward to in coaching for powder puff? Um, I'm really looking forward to like the players like learning how to play football and like just them um, having a good time, having fun, because I feel like that's what football is all about, just having fun. Would you say that the boys football team or the powder puff team is easier to coach? <laughs> I've had a lot more fun coaching the girls, I'd say, because like when I when I did kind of coach like the the boys, it was not it was more like serious. You had to like go. Yeah, but this with this you can like take your time with it and all that. I'm Aurora and I'm a senior. Um, how has practice gone so far for Powder Puff? They've been pretty good. Most people are showing up and we're working really hard and like learning all the positions and everything, so pretty good. Hi, my name is Diego Delero. I'm a junior at Benita Vista High School. So Diego, are you gonna attend the Powder Puff game? Of course. My name is Dave Cabongo and I'm a cornerback and strong safety. So David, how has it been coaching the girls team for Powder Puff? Um, it's been pretty well. They're hard workers and they come ready to learn our practice. Okay. Um, how confident are you in the senior team winning? I think we can take it all the way, to be honest. Like, there's no shot of them even like, scoring, if I'm even real. I'm nervous, but the seniors are definitely going to win and it's our last year, so I think we deserve it. Oh, like on a scale of 1 to 10, like 11, like I feel like we're, we have a lot of good pieces, we have a lot, a lot of good players, they're having fun, they're learning, they're just, they're just ready, they're just better than the juniors, if that makes sense. Um, I'm definitely confident because we have a lot of like varsity athletes on our team, so that's good. And who do you think is going to win? <laughs> I think the juniors are going to win. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tyler Arciaga and I'm the head football coach, athletic director, and acting assistant principal here at Benita Vista High School. So I heard there's a powder puff going on. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's just a, uh, you know, a way at the end of the year to kind of get the seniors uh, another senior activity, and they're going to go against the juniors. Uh, I've had it at previous schools. It's been a, 
uh, a good success and gets people kind of involved. And it's also a good segue into next year uh, when we hope to um, uh, have a uh, CIF sanctioned uh, flag football team as well. Uh, what season will this flag football team be? It would be in the fall. And so details are still getting worked out um, through the CIF and through our conference. Um, but we're, uh, you know, we're excited to provide additional opportunities to female student athletes. All right, thank you very much. That was interesting. Thanks, Jackie and Gia. And that's all for today, Barons. I'm Ale, signing off.